that is where my sister and her three kids were at the time of the storm. Aline Kistler remembers vivid details of that night. And the wind kept getting worse and stronger and raining on and off. The night a tornado touched down in her hometown of Udall in 1955. Kistler was just 15 at the time. She remembers hiding in a supply closet, hoping and praying that her family would make it through. Finally, the storm let up. I w could hear my dad uh, calling my name, and that was a pretty sweet sound, you know. Bruises, scrapes, and some things like that, but, but we were not hurt. But for many, the relief never came. Altogether, 87 people were killed, including children. He was in his father's arms, and the wind was so strong it blew Harvey, little Harvey, out of his. 64 years later, the people of Udall remember the lasting impact of that stormy night, many holding on to stories told by their grandparents. Anything he could do to help, you know. Marilyn Kilt's grandfather came to Udall after the storm to rescue people from the rubble, but telling stories was hard for him after seeing the devastation. It was a long, horrific time for all of them. The tragedy sparked a change in the area for tornado warnings. Now, when the area is threatened by a tornado, phones hooked up to the homes will ring, giving residents an extra heads up. For anyone who has a landline, including outside of in the rural areas, uh, which is great because they can't always hear the sirens, and it'll ring three times, ring, 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 so that people know to take shelter and take cover. Those who were lost are remembered throughout Udall, including at the local museum, which holds hundreds of stories and pictures, and at this monument created to honor and remember fathers, mothers, children, friends, and community members lost on that tragic night.